Well, hello. Uh, it's been a, f a while. It's been a few days since I've um, done me me vlog for me Slim and World. Um, well, the last few days I've sort of how can I say like fell off the wagon a little bit to be honest with you, but not too bad. Um, went to the caravan. I love go. We've got a caravan on the coast, and when I go to the caravan. It's proper cosy. I always look at the caravan. Oh, time to have me treats now and try to try to have this and you know, it's trying to dissociate that and just trying to carry on when I'm going on a in a little break. Because I get every, every Friday we go there. Um so the family stay there Friday, Saturday, and they come back on the Sunday. I stay the Friday and then I've got the house to myself on the Saturday, but when I arrive at that caravan, I just feel, oh, time to snack. I'm on a mini break here, and my head starts to think, oh, can I, shall I get a nice takeaway? Shall I get a nice this, and shall I get something nice to eat? And, you know, I've got to change the mindset of that. Um, but I still don't think I've been that bad considering. I think I've eaten more chocolate biscuits than I would like to. Still not too bad. To be quite honest with you but i've not really been counting my sins the last few days but i am today it's way day to day um but i'm i'm aware of what i'm doing that's the main thing now i've made a change to me me ready meals um i've found the slim well meals uh, amazing apart from one um I was looking forward to the um, the chicken madras, the slim slim um, well meals from Aldi, and that was waiting for me at the caravan. So no, look, the wife was bringing. It. I got there first, um, but I think I'd gone too many hours without eating anything. So I grabbed a pot noodle when I got there um, because it would have been another hour or so till the wife got to the caravan. And anyway, I was looking forward to me uh, chicken madras, put it in the, the microwave, and straight away, the smell, I was just thinking, this doesn't smell like a, a chicken madras. It smelled, and it tasted of be Beecham's Lemsip. And it was like, oh, I was so disappointed because I was looking forward to eating it. I was like, you know, I've made the healthy option, and it was just, it was disgusting. It was like, ah, oh. I tried having a few forkfuls and I just thought, Beecham's Lemsip, Beecham's that, it was rank. So I chucked it in the bin and I ended up having some bachelor soup and noodles with some slices of bread. So it went a bit tits up on the, on the Friday night. But the other slim well meals I've had are lovely. I think I've had the um, barbecue pork sausage one and I've had the I've had a sweet and sour dish, I think, and so far, what else I've had have been absolutely really tasty. Tastier than the Slimming World meals that you get from Iceland, to be honest with you. And on a fraction of the price, I think like one ninety nine compared to the three pounds to three fifty, three fifty to four to five pounds for the Slimming World meals from Iceland. So I've only really just scratched the surface with them Slim Well, so I'm hoping that I can find more that I do like. Now I know these are, you've got to sin the Slim World meals, but they're only like two sins or something. Um, and I'd rather have two sins if I'm getting a bit of extra taste. Um, I will try the Slim and World meals, the curry, and see what they're like. It's been a while since I've had, um, had one of them. And there's a few new other ones. But so far, like I say, I'm happy with them Slim Well meals. They're absolutely tasty. Because I find with the, the Slim and World meals, I have to add a little bit extra to it to give it a bit more taste, a bit more oomph. With the Slim Well, I didn't have to. It really, really hit the spot. I thought, get in, that, that's a result. But with some of the Slim and World meals, and if I remember right, you saw with some of the curries, I had to add... Um, a bit of a cheese triangle and mixed it in with to thicken it up a bit but it's been a while so I might just try it again and I had a bit of Tabasco sauce in it 
Um, <clears throat> and last night, like I say, well, yesterday I wasn't really counting me, me sins at all. I mean, I had three bits of garlic bread with me, um, me slim well meal, and I had some chocolate biscuits. I had about three, three chocolate biscuits. But I'm, a, I'm aware and I'm alert of what I'm doing. You know, I do want to, to keep on track. Of course I do. But I'm only human at the end of the day. And like we all are. You know, we're not going to be perfect on every single day. Not even the consultants are. And they'll tell you that themselves. Um, it's just a case of getting back on track. And just being aware. As long as you're aware. And you've got it in the back of your head. It's like, okay. Just keep an eye on it. I'm fine. Because where I think I'm going well is, you know, I used to have like a pack of bourbon biscuits every night, a pack of custard creams every night, and I ain't. If I have a chocolate biscuit, I'll have maybe one or two, instead of the, the whole pack, just to sort of help with that, the sugar fix a little bit. Um, and another thing as well, I've noticed, certain, certain foods that have to be brands. Like, I tried the um, Aldi ravioli. It's all right, but it's nowhere near as tasty as um, the Heinz ravioli. Now, maybe being fussy, but just far more tasty than Heinz. I'd ra and I'd rather pay an extra 80 pence if it's something tasty. And there was one sin less with the Aldi version, but didn't enjoy it as much. And that the whole part and parcel of being on, on plan is eating stuff that you like you know it's important that don't try and force something down you didn't like because you're going to turn around and say oh I'm sick of eating this that I didn't like I'm sick of eating this shite it's crap do you know what I mean oh hell with that I'm going to have a, a fish finger sandwich I'm going to have a chocolate bread sandwich because that was a disaster you know it's important to, to eat something that you do enjoy yeah I mean it is nice to have cheaper options but what's the point if you're not going to enjoy it, or you're not going to eat it as much, so that's what that's what I'm going to be doing anyway. Um, so that's it. It's way day for me, um, and I'll be I'll be pleased if I'd say I'd stay the same. Really, do you know what I'm saying? I'm, and if I put half a pound on a pound on, I can't really argue because you can it if you've been a naughty boy. So, but anyway, that's it from, from me from today, and I'll let you know later how I've got on. Uh, massive thanks to any people that subscribe to my channel. Do appreciate it. And um, we'll keep you posted tonight. See you later.